R. Kelly singing for a honey bed. My mind's telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me yes, baby. I don't want to hurt nobody, but there is something that I must confess. How old were you when you lost your virginity? Oh, wow. Uh, 14. My babysitter. That's why I'm was so she keen old? on my, on my son's ass. <laughs> was she older than you? Of course. Yeah, yeah, she was older than me. That is so interesting. You don't know how many men have said they have lost their virginity by a babysitter. Yeah. She was a teenager. I was like getting close to a teenager. I can't, I, yeah. I won't reveal names, but it was, you know, it was a time in my life that I will never forget. I can still smell it. <laughs> I was young. Young. Oh, oh. I mean, I, I listen, um, I, let's say I, I was a child, I was a curious, curious child, so whatever, whatever I saw on TV, I tried to emulate at a very young age. Let's just say under 10. Well, let's just say the age, what is it? <laughs> that was dramatic, come on. Well, what was so dramatic? It was, it was so, I mean, come on now, like. You know, like I mean, it was young. I mean, I, I say under, under. Five, three. Yeah, yeah, I say about six. I was molested by my babysitter. Mm. And she was an older woman, and she, like, oh, it's kind of, I don't remember too much of it, you know, but that's when I, I really kind of, like, was first engaged in sexual contact. And then I lost my virginity, like, I know, for real, for real, like, around, like, 11 to 12. Mm. But how old were you when... I was when, when I would say I was probably like nine, nine or something like that. When your babysitter that. took advantage of you. Yeah. Okay. How old was your babysitter? She was in the thirties at the time. I was like thirteen. If you really want to count that, she was a couple years older than me. It was terrible. It really wasn't full penetration, so it was like an, a sexual act. Huh. But I didn't really. So I guess te technically, yeah, 13, but probably more like 15, you know? Mm. Yeah. When you say it wasn't all that, what do you mean? Uh, it was like, it was very quick. It was uh, stressed. I didn't, I didn't even want to be in that predicament with that young lady, you know? But I was curious, but not really with her. She was very aggressive, or, you know, assertive, you know what I mean? Um, and I was just along for the ride, <laughs> you know what mm. I mean? But I wasn't attracted to her remotely. And so I couldn't really get excited and look forward to that. Like, hmm. you know, my first experience with any sexual interaction and sexual intercourse happened at 11 where mm. I was introduced to sex through a teenager who was 16 that actually quote unquote I wouldn't say she um, molested me but she definitely showed me the birds and the bees and sped me up to you know what sex was considered you know as a preteen um, or adolescence. I, I lost my virginity at um, 14. Mm -hmm. And um, was the individual older or younger? She was older. Mm -hmm. She was 15. Oh, <laughs> Don't wait until you're about 21 to lose your virginity because whoever you lose it to, she's going to whip you and have you basically like baby whipped. 
You know, you got you got to start early. I have What's sex early? 16, 17. Cuz the theory is you have sex when you're younger, then you won't be so emotionally attached. So then when you get older, you know, the sex with that woman is it going to hold you there if things are going right? Cuz if you wait till you're older, then you know, it'll lead to her just running you over. That's what you're told. So what, how old did you lose your virginity? I was 25. I didn't listen, obviously. Like, to check up on her. So she finally, like, all right, okay, you can go back to L.A. with the woo woo You know, and it was a train ride. I was able to get on the train. She okayed it. She okayed me to go stay with her homegirl that stayed next door to us. So when, we, when I went over there, at the time I was 12 years old, my mom was up in jail. This was one of her best friends. I'm 12 years old, so... I go there, everything gravy, you know, I'm there for about three days or whatever. I go to the homie house, I come back. When I come back to the house, you know, her husband is usually there. Nobody ain't there, it's just me and her. So when I come back to the house, I go straight to the room where I would sleep at. You know, she had a three-bedroom house, one empty room, one room where she had like a grip of shit up in there. That's where I was sleeping at. Then, of course, her and her husband room, you know what I'm saying? So I end up hearing like some moaning or whatever, and I know this nigga not there. So I'm sitting in the room, I'm in the cut, like, what the fuck is that noise? Like, I'm 12 years old, but I know it was somebody fucking. You know, so I sneak out the room, I go, look, and listen, I hear it's a porno. Then I see her, like, when I get a little bit closer, I see somebody asshole naked. And it's her, like, I get scared to the motherfucker, I head up and run back to the room. So this time, like, my dick is harder than the motherfucker. This is my first time ever seeing a naked woman, like, with my actual eyes. Like, my own two eyes besides TV in real life. That was my first time. So, in the room, I'm like, oh, she can see me. At the same time, my dick is hard than the motherfucker. My hormones is racing, yada, yada, yada. So, and I'm scared. Like, real shit. I'm scared than the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm sitting there. I end up turning on. This one, 007 was cracking. The Nintendo 64. I turn on 007, whatever. I'm playing the game. Did she call me out? Ooh, ooh, my real name is Darrell. She called me out. Darrell, come here. Woo, woo, woo. So, I'm like, damn, like, I know she dressed. I hope she didn't find it. Like, she didn't see me look in this motherfucking room. I hope I ain't in trouble. So when I go up in there, the porno is still playing. And she's sitting on the bed, asshole naked, no lie. Like, she's sitting right there on the bed. She's like, come here. You know, so I'm sitting right there. I'm like, what's up? Even though I don't want to say, like, this weird as fuck. What is she doing? Because now my dick is soft in the motherfucker. I'm scared at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is she doing? Why am I sitting on this bed with her asshole naked? You know what I'm saying? This lady is probably like 30 years old. I'm 12 years old at this point. You know, so she asked me, oh, you got a girlfriend, and um, have you ever had sex before, and do you tell people a lot of stuff? So the whole time, I'm like, no, I don't have no girlfriend, which I don't know. I don't have sex, which I don't. And as far as me telling people, like telling people what, my answer is just no. And so when I'm talking to her, she pulls down my pants. No bullshit. You know, I cannot make this shit up. She pulls down my pants. Turn around, put my hands on her ass. Sit down on my lap, all right? When she sit down on my lap, she probably move around a little bit for like five seconds. My dick hard than a motherfucker. She get on her knees and start sucking my dick. Now, my mind is just racing like a motherfucker. Even though I'm letting her do it, I'm scared than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my mama homegirl. I'm not knowing what's going on still. You know what I mean? She lay me down on the bed, then get on top of me, fucking me. Now she moaning. Now my mind's like, this is like the movies. I'm a grown man now. You know what I'm saying? I'm 12 years old. I'm like, this is a grown woman. I'm fucking a grown woman. And you know, I'm so much into the moment, I'm not even realizing like this lady's taking my virginity. That's not even on my mind at this point. I'm not realizing that I'm being raped. That's not on my mind at this point. The only thing I'm concerned about is what the fuck am I doing right here? Like, am I going to get in trouble for this shit? Is her husband going to come home and beat my ass? Because he could do it with one hand at this point. I was a little nigga. A little skinny nigga. I ain't. Psh, I was a little nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when she finished. No, when I finished at this time, I bust a nut. She get up. She give me a kiss. Tell me not to tell nobody. I'm scared as fuck. I go in the room. I start crying. All night, all morning. I'm crying like, man, I couldn't even sleep. You know what I'm saying? So, when I do end up falling asleep, probably around 4.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, we wake up around 9-something. Now, at this point, she waking up with her husband there. Then she calls me in there to get something to eat while this nigga is at the motherfucking table. Talking to me like ain't nothing. Just Like, this shit didn't happen last night. Now she got my mind thinking, like, did I dream this bullshit? Did this shit happen or not? Then I'm just looking at the scenarios. And then when this nigga go ahead and leave again for work, probably around one or two, she like, you hope you ain't tell nobody we can do it again, yada, 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 whatever. Now I want to go home. 
I've had older women who thought I wasn't being parented correctly slightly try to take advantage of me and not slightly have taken advantage right, of me. But you lost your virginity to two 30 year olds? Yeah. The same time? Yeah, two ugly, <laughs> horrible looking women. And you were? Uh, uh, what was I? You were how old? 11. 11. Going to 12, I had no hair on me. Right. I had no, I remember, I remember not having, and, and it was disgusting. And to this day, it's difficult for women to get me to go down. It's difficult. The girls that have had it, um, you're welcome. But it's hard. <laughs> it's hard for me. It's hard for me to go down, man, because I was like, I remember what it was like down there. It was like, <laughs> it was like a scary jungle. <laughs> it was a terrible place to be. It was a terrible place to be, and they were like taking turns. I was up for. I was just happy to be up. And uh, it made my it made my Kool Aid taste different. <laughs> man, twist what you laughing at, man. How you get that? You get that? You understood that? <laughs> you sucking on clips out of that fight? They <laughs> can't want that motherfucker. Hey, nigga. Oh, you're a twist? 15. Huh? Oh my God! <laughs> you bet I'm on the wheel, cause I'm the wheel. He said, "Yeah, I'm fucking at 11." I had children at 16. I had I had Nay Nay at 15, nigga. I had my daughter when I was 15, nigga. It ain't cause you a, a, a male, it ain't cause you 15 you're supposed to, cause you're young money. You're supposed to fuck that shit, nigga. I stuff fuck. I got raped when I was 11, twist. And I loved it. <laughs> I ain't never pressed child. I'ma do you like baby them did me. Yeah. I'll never forget that day. <laughs> yeah, no, well, they was all in the kitchen. I was scared. It was cool. There was about this many niggas and shit, too, in that bit. i never forget the word. Suck la wine la dick. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting on the couch. Everybody in that bit. That nigga was like, talking, good with your good dick. Girl, you know you suck with your good dick, suck. And that boy, that bitch suck all the nigga. Have a nigga. Suck la wine la dick. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, sure, yeah. Sucked up. I ain't never had this happen. <laughs> In front of the G, oh my God, that was the best ever, boy. I walked out that bitch, I felt like I killed five niggas, ran through three banks, boy. You don't understand. I was a different man after that. I was, I was Lil Wayne. <laughs> after that, yeah. So you're checking out these magazines? When was the first time you got some action? Ooh. Probably, I'm going to have to say 16, 17 years old because, yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, I, I, my, the babysitter was a, <laughs> a, a MILF, a MILF. Oh, shit. Yeah, and, but she was just one of these natural women that had a natural sexuality about her. Hold on, she was babysitting you? Mm -mm, my oh. sisters. Oh, shit, that's and, cool. Uh, yeah, she lived in our building and it was like so convenient. But she, she says, listen, I, she says, look, I know that, I know you want some of this. She said that? <laughs> it came out. What did you look like? That. Just an older, beautiful, in my opinion, beautiful black woman, just natural, big tits. She knew know. what she had. She knew what she had. That's why she would walk around shaking every fucking thing. I was like. I asked to, right? Asked for days. And so it was like she'd come in, see the family babysit, leave, and then my sisters would actually go up to her place and uh, be babysat there. And that's what led me to, she goes, if one of these days, you know, you want to come over and hang out. Really? I was like, holy shit, this is real. This is happening. It's going to go down. So I actually said, hey, you know, I want to come, come by. And she goes, okay, come on by. I'll give you some of this. And dude, I went by. She, that was my, that was, a, that was the lesson the sexual lesson because she, I believe she took my, my cherry that way. 
Wow. She was the first real woman. I had, you know, got head and this and that from chicks in school or whatever, but this was a, this was full on ravaging sex and for a woman who knew what she wanted and that she was the teacher. It's always great to have that format where you have a teacher, a woman that's willing to teach like that. That's so hot. That sounds pretty cool, really. As a babysitter, too. So that whole babysitter thing. That's kinky. But it's hot, right? Yeah. It's like... She was a mother, too. That was the other thing, you know. <laughs> 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 I used to play with her. Her kids used to play with my sisters. And it was like, whoa. But the thing that she knew it and she said it, it was just so much hotter. Come and, come and get it. That's great. Come and get it. She goes, I'll give you some of this. I'll give you just like that. Those words? She, she, she goes, I know you've been wanting some of this. Whoa. I mean, that's, that's like, who says that? Who says that? <laughs> Only a real strong ass woman. So that that leads you to believe, or the people out there, like if she's saying that when she puts it on you, she must have put it on you. She did, she did, and but she also took her time with me. She was like, "Okay, you need to slow down. You know, you're moving too fast." <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, uh. oops, sorry." <laughs> and uh, it, it, she she made sure we had enough time because. My sisters had went away. Her ah. kids were away. Uh, my grandmother was doing her thing. And it was just me and her for hours. So it was pretty cool. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it wasn't like wham, bam, bye, out. Hours. Your first time. That's beautiful. And then, of course, I had to go back again. Ah, how many times? <laughs> Probably like three times. It was right. cool. Yeah. And then that, why'd you stop? Because I think a boyfriend was starting to catch on. Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> He's big, <laughs> strong? Oh, it's a dude. It's a grown man. I, I'm a kid. <laughs> And, uh, but he, you know, he would just come and go. So she knew that, but like, it was like, yeah. So I think that's why she kind of cooled it because he was starting uh, to. Well, she cooled it. it. She cooled it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's like, yeah. So <laughs> what, what she did that stand? I know. You lost your virginity at 10. Yes. Which is pretty young. Yes. <laughs> and what was that like to actually be that young? I mean, you had that situation where you were being molested, but here was sex that you actually wanted to have for the first time at a very young age, a preteen. Well, you know, this young lady, um, young little girl, liked me and um, we used to walk from the bus to our homes. We lived in the same neighborhood. And one day, um, she, we walked to my house and I, it's going to say goodbye. She said, no, we're going inside. Let me inside. So we went in. And those doors, they didn't lock the doors. I mean, it's crazy. There were no door locks. It's just you went in. And she took me under the dining room table, of all places, <laughs> and pulled my pants down and um, touched me uh, and then inserted me inside of her. And I had never known anything like that ever. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and uh, I screamed and whatever, and um, she laughed and kissed me, and um, she, uh, you know, my sister came home looking for me, and we, I didn't say anything. And then my sister went to the kitchen, and the young lady got up and went out the front door and just closed the door. And I came from under the table, putting my pants up. My sister said, what's going on? Ooh. So my sister the door, I said, no. Uh, who was that? I said, Nobody. Well, this is the, the 50s now. Yes. You're 10 years old. You were born in 45, was it? 43. 43, my bad. So this is 1953. Uh... It happened. I was really brave. Now that I'm grown and I look at it, I was really brave. And now let me tell you all about the second time. All right? The second time I was brave, it happened. Um... Okay, my mom and them, they used to go to this club up in Compton. It's called Bistro 880s. Either my mom would leave us at home, if it's probably about eight or nine of us, because like I said, all my aunties would go. So my aunties had kids, and we was all around the same age, probably like a two or three years difference. So if it's like eight or nine of us, she'd leave, they'd leave us all at home, all at my mama's house in the apartment, just boom, they kick it there. And we wait till they come home in the morning. All right, so on this particular night, fucking my mom homegirl, you know what I'm saying? Her name Leticia. My mom, homegirl, she fucking, her daughter had a slumber party for all girls. Her daughter had a slumber party. My mom then went to the club. Everybody over Leticia's house, whoop, slumber party cracking. Ain't no boys there, but I'm there. 
So she had a little townhouse upstairs, downstairs. The fucking slumber party was downstairs. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm 13 years old. The slumber party downstairs. So the girls have a big ass slumber party. I'm up just playing the game all night. I take my motherfucking game over there. I'm playing all night. You hear them laughing, joking, watching movies, eating all that shit downstairs. So around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, everybody going to sleep. And fucking, when Letitia come in the room, she asked me what I'm playing. Did she play one game with me? She played one game with me. And I used to like her because this around the time I started smoking weed and shit. You know what I'm saying? So if my mama would leave, if my mama go outside, walk to the store or whatever, she'd let me hit the blunt and shit. She was doing this for like five or six months. She'd let me hit the blunt real quick and I'd go outside, blast it like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, at this point, while we up in there playing the game, she called me back in her room. After she played her little game, she called me back in her room. She's smoking. So, I'm like, cool. I'm finna get high. Go to sleep. Boom. Good night for me. Or I'm finna get high, high, play. Wherever my mind was. Get high, play the game, or get high and go to sleep or whatever. So, I'm smoking, whatever. She give me the blunt. Then she go in there and take a shower. I'm gonna walk to the room. She's like, oh, you can stay right here. Let me just close the door. I'm like, all right, cool. When she come out, no lie, she come out asshole, naked. You know what I'm saying? And this woman is like, you know, not not even the type that you attracted to. She was like 300, 350 pounds. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm 13 years old at the time. So when she get out the shower, you know, asshole naked, I look. And my mind just like, my butterflies, it was like I was on a roller coaster. The shit was just scary than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I just like, can't believe this lady. She had some big ass titties, a big old like, I'm just like, oh my, like, what is she doing? She passed me the blunt. I mean, she like passed me the blunt. I give her the blunt or whatever. Then she had some Vaseline sitting on the table. You know what I'm saying? She turned on her stomach. She like, rub this Vaseline on my ass for me. I said, huh? And she like, boy, get the Vaseline. Just rub it on my ass. We ain't doing nothing. So I'm like, okay. You know? And just like, here we go again. I'm 13 years old. Everybody else downstairs sleep. Everybody knock the fuck out. We upstairs. So I'm rubbing the Vaseline on her ass. While I'm rubbing the Vaseline on her ass, she laying on her stomach. She rolling another blunt at the time. She breaking down some weed, rolling another blunt. So she spark it up and she smoke it. She spark the blunt, she smoke it. She pass it to me, boom. So, you know, when I pass it back, I act like I got to go use the bathroom. I'm so motherfucking scared. I go to the bathroom so I can go cry. Like, how the fuck can I get out of this situation? Now, again, this is my mama home, girl. You know what I'm saying? So when you go to the bathroom, like, fucking her room, all right, when you go up the stairs, her room would be right here. That's one way in her room. And the other way to her to her bathroom is a laundry room. So it's upstairs, her room right here. Then it's a little laundry room. Then you can go to the bathroom. All right. So on my way out the bathroom, after I finish using the bathroom or act like I'm using the bathroom, crying or whatever, I come out the bathroom. She meet me right there in the laundry room. No lie. Her big ass picked me up. Like a baby, like under my, you know how you pick a baby up under the armpits? Put me on the dryer and start sucking my dick on the dryer. No lie. I'm sitting right there crying like a motherfucker while I'm getting my dick sucked. No bullshit. And I'm 13 years old at the time. Now, one of my attracted to her, like, I am, <clears throat> this lady, at this time, like, I already know what type of females I want. It was the nice, little, pretty, young females with braces. This is what I liked it when I was 13 years old. Somebody that looked like me. For this to be happening to me again, for her to be sucking my dick like that, can't nobody hear me like, not that I was screaming, can't nobody hear us having sex, and I know after this point, I can't say nothing, so at this time, I'm thinking if she talked to the other girl, Kim, like, oh yeah, you know I raped Darrell, did you, you wanna rape him too, he easy, he ain't gonna say nothing, I don't know what the fuck they was thinking, but she did that shit like it was nothing, so that next morning, I heard, I catch the bus home, I didn't wait for my mama to come back. I catch the bus on probably like 7.30 in the morning. And she asked me, when she asked me, like, why I do that, I said, so we can go back to the apartments and play basketball. And like I said, 10 years later, I told my mama about her. And my mama started breaking down in tears about that. You know, it just like, you just never know what the fuck is happening. And at a young age, you just can't. I know if I would have said something, I know for a fact if I would have said something, people would have laughed at me. People would have joked on me, like, how you crying that you fuck somebody? I would have loved to get my dick sucked. Then I would have known it would have cost my mama to fall out of a relationship with her friends. It would have caused fights. It would have caused, like, my mama was cool as fuck with these motherfuckers. And not only that, my sisters was cool with them. You know what I'm saying? My sisters was cool with her daughters, with both of their daughters. So even though, like I tell my mom, I'm a grown-ass man now, I seen the women after this. We had conversations or whatever the case. You know, they ain't never brought it up to me. They know what they did, but they ain't never said sorry. They ain't never, like, acknowledged me. They just talked to me like, oh, how you doing? How your kids doing? Yada, yada, yada. Like, life was just great. 
But now that I'm older, I realize I was raped twice. I was raped twice. I can make a long-winded uh, commentary, but I won't. Okay, I won't. I'll just have you notice that a lot of the men in these in these clips had the same reaction other than a few. A lot of the men had the same reaction. They did that, like, that laugh, okay? Anybody notice the laugh? You know, that nervous laugh? That laugh that you, you do when you're uncomfortable with something? When something creeps you out, makes your flesh crawl? Yeah. You know, a lot of us in the community, man, we're, we're just built that way and shit, okay? We're engineered that way from birth to just carry a, a, a millstone. You know, the, the Sisyphus, okay? Pushing a rock up a hill only to watch it roll back down again. All right? That's all I'll say. I, I think that, I think this episode speaks for itself. You know, I'll I'll take your comments in the, down below in my comment section, okay? And I'll take it. I'll take it down below, and I don't want to hear any bullshit about, uh, no, these niggas was lucky, man, to get some pussy, man. You know? Get tired of that shit. This shit is getting tired and whatnot. Let's keep it moving and shit. Let's evolve together, okay? That's as, about as new age as I get on this fucking platform. That bitch raped me, dog. She just took my shit. She just grabbed my dick, fam. I wasn't, I wasn't fucking with it, bro. This is. She just grabbed my shit, fam. I wasn't even, like, ready, nigga. Like, that's a tease. Bro, like, this shit was terrible, bro. I got molested and shit, bro. First time in my life, this shit's so weird. I want to tell the counselor or something, fam. I'm so, like, emotionally distressed about this shit. I got <laughs> fucked, nigga, pretty much. By, the, by a bitch, I don't even know. She just took me, nigga, like, I could This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.